It's too early for this shit. I know, my love. My cats are horrified. The only times I ever wake up when it's still dark out is when I'm like taking off for the week. Hot take, I hate when it's daylight savings and it changes to it being like lighter later on in the day. I hate that. I love when it gets dark at like 4.30 p.m. and it gets light at like 6 a.m. I love that. But I know that's an unpopular opinion. It was daylight savings the other day, so it's 6.42 a.m. right now, but it's pitch black outside. I'm gonna try to do like a few days in my life vlog for you guys, because I always just do like a one day vlog, but I don't really do anything. So I feel like it'd be, it might be more interesting if I do like a few days in my vlog. A few days in my life vlog. I'm real tired. Your brother is badly behaved. Do you hear what he's doing right now? What are you doing in the basket? I found a cat. Oh! <laughs> it's a cat. What are you doing in the basket? <laughs> I've decided I'm going to drastically change my sleeping schedule starting tomorrow. I have something to do this morning, that's why I'm up. But starting tomorrow, I'm changing my sleeping schedule. Because I can't wake up when it's dark out. I don't like it. There's no point. I realize it's not that deep, but it is to me. I need to have a sleeping schedule. I'm like very like routine girl. My sleeping schedule for the past, I don't even know how long, has been 7 to 10. So I wake up at 7 a.m. I go to sleep at 10 p.m. Now, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm gonna change, first I was gonna change it to eight to 11. Now, I'm thinking nine to 12. I just put my hands in front of my eyes and I thought the light went out because it got dark. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to start waking up at nine in the morning and maybe not going to bed at midnight, but going to bed at like 11.30, 11 o'clock. I think that'd be fun. No one cares. This is the time I usually wake up. I think it's like seven now. It's dark out. No one cares. So as you guys know, I've been working. I hate when I like say that. I don't know why it makes me feel like a robot. So as you guys know, like shut up. I hate that, but that's like the, the phrase I need to use right now. As you guys know, I'm starting a brand. I've been working on it since like last July. We've been working on kind of everything but mostly we've been working on getting the actual products ready the first three products i'm launching are lip oils lip balms and lip masks and we've been working on getting like the formula right the flavor right we've been working on that since like last august i think and today i'm going to the factory for the first time to see the chemists at work meet the whole team. I'm so excited to go there and to meet everyone and to just like be in the factory and there's a couple more tweaks that we need to make with a couple of the products. Um, honestly, most of them are approved, um, but there's a couple that haven't been approved yet and there are some tweaks that I want to like discuss in person and like go over like actually like with the people that are making these products and see how they're made and all that stuff so i'm doing that today we're gonna be there from 9 to 2. i want to get there at like 8 45 and it's like an hour drive so that's why i'm up this early wait i need to show you guys something before it gets too light out i put up these freaking lights last night i had a little manic moment the second my thc hit my system last night and i was like i want to build something i found a step ladder and string lights in my closet near my toolbox and i was like i'm gonna build something my living room has been depressing recently because i got rid of my christmas decorations so there's no more like fun lights in my living room so i strung up these string lights they just don't look that good like i didn't do a great job i used some really questionable material to put them up until i realized that command strips would work the best so then i switched to those but i measured my whole living room like all the way around and it said it was 67 feet and the lights are 67 feet so i figured it would reach no i started there i went all the way around and it just stops there and this is you know what 
Who cares? I'm moving anyways. I'm moving anyways. At least it gives off some light. It just looks kind of bad. I'm gonna make eggs before I go. I'm not even honestly hungry yet, but I'm gonna be there all day. So I need to eat breakfast. I finally went to grocery shopping. My Postmates era is over. I don't know if I vlogged during my wild, severe Postmates era, but I just got back from my cruise yesterday, or no, the day before yesterday. And the whole two weeks prior to going on the cruise, I postmated every meal to my apartment. And I never do that. I've always loved to like cook every meal for myself. I don't know what was wrong with me. I ordered Postmates for every single meal for two weeks straight. Then I went on the cruise and ate like shit. And I went grocery shopping yesterday at Whole Foods and it was a, I don't think you understand quite how elated I was to be at Whole Foods yesterday morning. So now I have groceries. I'm gonna make a coffee too. All right, I'm throwing some fake bacon on the stove. I've been loving this shit recently. I used to eat this when I like first went vegan. And I've been eating it again. It resembles Began strips. It looks and tastes like Began strip. I don't know what a Began strip tastes like. Don't, don't. I did used to eat milk bones for dogs when I was a child, but yeah, these are literally vegan strips, but I kind of love them. And then I got pesto at the store yesterday. There's Gotham Greens vegan pesto. I'm gonna put some more oil in there, put pesto in the pan, and cook my eggs in the pesto. Pesto eggs, my greatest invention. I didn't invent it. I did invent it. Here's my masterpiece. I put red pepper romesco sauce on the eggs. Got it from Whole Foods. Fire! Um, I feel great. So I got back from my cruise two days ago and I ended up bringing Colin on the cruise and it like, I vlogged it on TikTok for a couple days and then I stopped because honestly vlogging is just such a solo thing for me. I love vlogging when I'm alone. It's just not my thing when I'm with people so I stopped vlogging after a couple days, but I had such a good time and I feel so good. I was telling Colin, like when I would go on the solo cruises, I drank so much more because I had to like go out of my comfort zone and like meet people and become friends with people and film TikToks with them like on the cruise and stuff. So I would drink so much more and I was by myself. So I ate a lot more cause I was so bored. So I would just like eat all day. So I feel so much better coming off of this cruise cause I wasn't drinking nearly as much and I wasn't eating as much. So I feel good. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. I'm really upset because I have this shirt in a short sleeve version from Aritzia. I left it on the boat. I left it on the boat. Um. So I'm wearing the long sleeve. I'm really sad about that shirt. I have to rebuy it because I love it so much. And then I'm wearing some girlfriend denim jeans and these new bounces. I was gonna wear my loafers because they just match really well with this outfit, but I don't want to be uncomfortable. And then I put in my, hold on. And I put in my product clip that I love so much and just all of my regular jewelry. And I'm bringing my tote bag because I have a lot of shit with me. So I'm bringing this giant bag. I love this bag because it fits all of my, all of my unnecessary things. I carry a lot of shit around with me. So I use this bag when I do that. And I use this bag when I'm carrying around a normal amount of things. Okay. Okay, I'm leaving right now. I made a little coffee to go. I lost the straw to this Air One cup. So I had to use a different straw and it doesn't match. And it's making me really, uneasy right now but i may do also like this top like squeezes the straw really hard so i can hardly even suck the coffee out of it i'm gonna head there right now and i'm so excited to listen to ariana's album for the 26th time i'll give you my top five my top five are supernatural we can't be friends i wish i hated you Eternal Sunshine and Honorable Mention goes to True Story. I'm very passionate about my top five and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I'm excited because today is the first day that I can start. I'm really dramatic, but the first couple of days that I'm listening to an album or like the first 10 to 15 times I listen to an album, I need to listen to it in order so I can like see, so I can like hear and see the full picture and like see the story that's being told. So I need to listen to it from like top to bottom the first 15 times so that I can completely understand 
where it starts, where it ends, the story being told. Today's the first day I can shuffle it, and I'm really excited. I'm drama. Okay, I have to go. You guys, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I just left. It's 1.30. I got here at nine. That was just so much fun to see everything in person because I've been working on this brand for so long and I've just been working with like my team and the people actually making my products. I've just been working with them over like Zoom meetings and texts and stuff. So it was really cool to see it all in person. The warehouse factory, whatever it's called, so impressive. Like I've never been in like a warehouse where like they make cosmetic things before. Like that was so cool. I have seriously tried like probably 80 things on my lips today they're so wet and as of 30 minutes ago all of my products are now approved I'm doing I'll tell you guys what I'm doing I'm doing a clear bomb for like my first launch I'm doing a clear bomb a light pink bomb a red lip oil a light pink lip oil and then just like a clear lip mask we have went through so many samples so many tweaks over the past how long has it been yeah over the past seven months we have had so many tweaks so many samples come in like we've changed so many things and i've slowly like approved specific products but today today the light pink lip oil and the mask still weren't approved so i got to like tweak everything in person and those two are fine approved and I'm so happy all the girlies that work here are so cute they're they love the lip products that I've been making they're like their favorite like I'm not just saying this because they're my products I have been working on these for so long and making them so perfect they are the best flavor wise formula wise like these are the best lip products ever I have compared them to everything in the world like I every time a lip balm or like a lip oil or like a lip mask comes out, I buy it and I compare it to mine and mine is just better than everyone. I don't know how I did it. So I'm really excited for you guys to try everything. We're shooting for this summer, but that's the dream for this to be launched in like June around my birthday that would be nice when they were giving me a tour around like the actual warehouse where everything is made i had to wear a hair mask and a, and a face mask i looked crazy i felt like a fucking chemist i was like oh my god i'm like making shit it was fun this is me signing the document um finally approving the lip mask and the pink oil so exciting now I have to head to my house because I'm looking at paint samples all of the plaster finally dried in my house so I'm going there to look at some paint samples for the walls and for the trim my boyfriend is so cute so I've been stumped on a name for my brand for a really long time and it's getting to the point where if I don't come up with a name for my brand by this Friday my launch is going to be delayed which I don't want that to happen and it's just really sad because I think this was like over a year ago after I already decided that I wanted to create a brand at some point I hadn't discussed it with anyone yet I was just like thinking about like oh I'd love to like start a brand I was laying in bed one night and I came up randomly like it just came to my mind the name of my brand that I wanted and it just felt so right and it clicked and I was like that's the name of my brand like a hundred and fifty percent and it felt so right it felt so good and that's what started all of this and I can't use that name I don't want to tell you guys what it is because I want to keep it for myself but for a bunch of different reasons I can't use that name so me and my team my boyfriend and my mom have been trying to come up with a name for my brand for the longest time we must have come up with like 250 names and I'm just like nope 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 because I'm comparing them all to the feeling that I had when I came up with the other name for my brand and none of it even comes close to that feeling so I'm just been so picky and my boyfriend is so cute he's on the phone right now he I have him on mute but he'll just like call me and he'll spit off like 30 potential names for my brand and he'll just keep coming up with them I'm like where do you come up with all these names it's just really cute how involved he is and how much he cares He's so cute. He's done this so many times. I'm like, where do you get all these names from? I've liked two other ones in this whole process of trying to come up with a brand name. I've, I've liked two other ones, but they're both trademarks, so I can't even use them. And I don't want to get sued. But, okay, I'm at my house right now. My contractor is picking me up a matcha right now, so I don't think he's here yet. So I'm going to chill in the car and talk to Colin for a couple minutes while I wait for Ronnie to show up with my matcha. 
but I'm here and it actually looks different today. All the plaster drives so they got to like paint the walls or like do whatever they do, I don't know. Ronnie picked me up my matcha. There's like paint samples on the wall right now that I'm looking at and I think I really like one of them. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone because I'm so used to like white everything, like white walls. And that's what I thought I was gonna go for, but honestly, look at this. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but that is the wall color that I like, and then that would be the trim. So, like here, obviously. And I think I really like that. I don't know. I just got home. The animals are pissed because I've been gone all day, but I was just telling Venus, as you guys know, as you guys know, as you guys know, I'm making a like a cat den, a cat room in my new house. And Ronnie was saying today that we should make like content together um, while we're doing the cat room and I should bring a cat by. And I said, oh, I'm definitely bringing Venus because Venus is the most beautiful cat in the world. Venus is my model cat. And I said that to him. I said, Venus is the prettiest one ever. That's what I said. So Venus is gonna be the model for the cat room. Yeah, I'm putting you to work for no pay. Your pay is a roof overhead and food and bowl. Yes. Okay, I just got ready to go to the gym and I realized, first of all, I realized this morning I left one of my favorite Aritzia shirts on the cruise. I also left my Dairy Boy pajama shorts on the cruise. I love those shorts. And I'm pretty sure they were limited edition because they're Christmas pajamas, so I don't think I can get those again. And I just realized while I was getting ready for the gym, I left both pairs of my gym shorts on the boat. I only wear two pairs of shorts to the gym, one of which I've had since sixth grade. I left it on the cruise. I also left my aloe shorts on the cruise. Those are like the only gym shorts that I wear. So maybe if I'm not too tired, I'll go to aloe later to repurchase those. And, Cause I have to wear my white ones today. I don't like what, I just, I have, I'm very specific about the clothes I wear to the gym. I have a bunch of packages to open. I think they're all PR. So I'm gonna open those quick before I go to the gym. Ooh, stop it. Oh my God, oat Haas. This like granola butter brand came out with this new flavor. It's cookies and cream. And I'm so excited to eat this. I love this granola butter and I'm obsessed with cookies and cream. So this looks really good. My favorite skincare brand sent me another package. This must be on accident because they send me the same four products like every two months. But I'm not complaining. It's the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pad, and the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is like my exact skincare routine right here. And then they also have this Superfood Facial Oil. I don't like facial oil, so I don't use this, but I'm sure it's really good. I just don't like looking oily, and I'm, my skin is like very oily, so I don't like adding like facial oils. I don't know. And this cute little face towel. I know what this is and I'm so happy. This is my favorite coffee. Um, it's the Wandering Bear Cold Brew. This one's in the cinnamon flavor. I've never tried this one. I have the original flavors and then vanilla, but I love them because it's just like a box of Joe and this opens and a spout comes out. So I just keep it in the top corner of my fridge and every morning I just press this button and coffee comes out, it's so easy. So they sent me the cinnamon one, they also sent me a t-shirt. This is so cute. I love this, thank you guys. Ooh, this looks good. Alani has a new flavor, it's Orange Kiss. I love Alani, I drink one of these every day before I go to the gym. I actually have to open one right now. I'm gonna have a cherry twist today. And then the Orange Kiss pre-workout. I used to be such a pre-workout girly. I would take like dry scoops of pre-workout before my runs or I would put my pre-workout in a energy drink shotgun and take them both at once. I don't know why I did that. I think I just did that to be like funny on TikTok because that's like really not healthy. But oh, and this is a hard candy and Girl Scout cookie collab. Aw, there's this cute little headband and this baggie. This is adorable. There's Girl Scout cookies on it. Oh my God, they're Girl Scout cookie inspired eyeshadow palettes. This one's Thin Mint. This is the shortbread one. And then this is the Caramel Delight. I'm filming in my apartment building, lobby bathroom, and I'm still petrified that somebody's gonna walk in. 
I brought my camera to the gym as if I was going to vlog there, but there's like literally 25 people in there, so I didn't. I got to the gym and I realized my headphones were dead. Worst feeling ever. So I go upstairs. My other headphones are also dead, and so are my AirPods. So I just brought my charger down to the gym and I like plugged them in, but I had to run on the treadmill for like 10 minutes with no music. I was just running in silence. Not recommended. I was gonna lift too, but there's so many people in there that I don't feel like it. It used to be fine if there was a lot of people in the gym when I was lifting, because I would just like lift dumbbells like in the corner on that. But now I like use machines. So, I don't like when there's people there. So, I didn't do that, but I'm gonna run upstairs and shower now. I'm gross. Nothing like taking a deep breath outside. I feel so good. I got home, I showered, I talked to Colin in my little AirPods, and I cleaned my apartment, and I feel so good. Um, I'm fucking exhausted, but if I sit down, I like won't get back up, so I'm still standing. Being around people really exhausts me. Um, I was just saying to Colin, I was like, I don't know how, like, this might sound like so dumb, but I haven't had like a traditional job in like three years now where I have to like go to work and be around coworkers every day. So like today exhausted me. My social anxiety doesn't help either. So being around people really exhausts me. But honestly, I was like really good today. I have like good days sometimes where I'm like talkative and I feel fine. And today was thankfully one of those days and I was talking to this girl on my team and my social anxiety came up into a conversation and she was like, oh, you have social anxiety? She's like, I would never guess. And I was like, wait, really? That like made my day. It's like, oh, I love to trick people. What? Wow. You can come here and hang out. You're so cute and loud and needy. Yes, you are. You're the most beautiful cat in the whole world and never even thought I would find a cat so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You're a little dumb. Yeah. Your brother's smart. Yes, he is. One thing about me is like, I'm a pull-in to a spot. Like, I'm not the type to be like, oh, I'm just like backing up, it's like easier. But I realized like no one can see my Jeep. My Jeep is so fucking hot. So I started backing into my parking spot simply so that people can see it better. Like Tara, please. Okay, I'm at the Grove, big shocker, because I truly won't work out tomorrow if I don't have a pair of black shorts and I left them on the boat. So I'm really sad about the Nike shorts. Like those can never come back. I've had those since sixth grade. They don't make those anymore. Honestly, they were begging to be retired. Those shorts were really crusty. I think I left them at Colin's house once and he was like, babe, what are these? Do you need some new shorts? I was like, no, I just like love them. So those can't be replaced, but it's okay. This is really embarrassing to admit and I hope nobody's listening to me. But I remember when I first moved to LA and I came to the Grove and I walked by this candy shop. I was like, oh my God, that's the candy shop that Charlie D'Amelio and Lil Huddy went to. And I was all excited, the one behind me. If anyone heard me say that, I'm going to jail. <laughs> I thought I found the shorts immediately when I walked through the door, but they're like the long ones, so I'm having her grab the short ones for me. I like the three inch airlift shorts from Alva, they're my favorite, but I hate the five inch, and that's what these are. I honestly ordered Lululemon shorts literally yesterday on the couch, but they're not coming until like next week, and I don't know if I'm gonna love them because I love these so much. I'm still on the hunt for a good sweatsuit. It's just not my thing. I ordered a Skims one last night. I don't think I'm gonna like it. I'm trying this one on. Of course, I finally find a good sweatsuit at like the beginning of summer. I'm getting it. I got my shorts back. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just out at nighttime right now. I am, Colin. You, you freak like adventures. Oh yeah. Oh god, there's a YouTube video playing and it sounds like me. What video is it? It's always a surprise. Oh! Ew, no, it's my birthday vlog. This vlog is so embarrassing. You're high. I'm gonna be sick. I've been trying to put y'all on to striking up conversations with strangers. It's been something that I've been doing a lot recently and I love it. I was just in the elevator. I was like, I don't feel like it. I've been around people all day. I don't feel like doing this. 
we rode up a few floors in silence and then I was like, how's your day? And we talked about Disneyland and it put me in such a good mood. So I'm glad I did that. I want you, I need you, oh God. I can't believe it's 7 p.m. right now and it's still light out. That's so weird. It was like 6.30 p.m. yesterday. And I was like, fuck, I haven't fed the, the cats yet or the bird because I'm used to like feeding them. I usually feed them at like five, but it's like always dark out when I feed them. I know, like, I forgot to feed you yesterday until, like, 7 at night, and it was so fucked up. It was so fucked up. Someone called DCYF. You're starving. You're starving. Cats are so drama. Not as dramatic as that damn bird, though. No one is ever as dramatic as that damn bird. Hello, my love. This candle that I got a couple weeks ago is like the best candle ever. I would never repurchase it because of how stupidly expensive it was and the size of it. It's the Lilabo Santel 26 candle. Oh my God, it smells so good, I'm obsessed with it. But I've only lit it one time because I went away. So I've only lit it once and it's halfway gone. It's so small and I can't even say how much this was. So I wouldn't repurchase. It's, it smells really good. If you're just rolling in cash and you're looking for a new candle, this one's for you, babe. Can you not flash your asshole to my camera? No, you can't do that. I'm gonna feed you right now. Actually, I'm gonna feed the bird first. No, I'm gonna feed the cats first because you've been bad today. That's how I decide who I'm feeding first at nighttime, who is, which breed of animal has behaved the best on that particular day. And today was the cats. Good job, you guys. Marty has been such a happy bird. He loves french fries, but they're not good for him because he's not supposed to have salt. But once in a while, I give him a french fry because he loves them so much. And he's like a freak. Like, he won't just eat. Like, I've gotten him just like whole potatoes before and like cooked them and cut them up in little cubes. He won't eat those. He just wants fries. So I got him no salt added crinkle cut fries at the grocery store yesterday. He's a very happy bird. You like your crinkle cut fries, you freak? You don't even know what fucking time it is right now. It's time for mommy to make her special THC mocktail. I don't know, <laughs> I make these little drinks with my THC liquid, but I don't know whether to call it a THC mocktail or a THC cocktail. I feel like people think I'm like drinking when I call it a cocktail. I was telling the people I was working with today about how I was online shopping in a blackout last night because of my THC cocktail. And they were like, oh yeah, I like to shop drunk too. I was like, wait, no, I wasn't drunk. I don't know what to call it. I usually use, so I use the nowadays cannabis infused bottle. And I usually just mix it with this watermelon lime Olipop, but I'm trying a new flavor today because I have so many of these tropical punch ones in my fridge and I've never touched them because I'm scared. I don't like punch, but I'm gonna try it because I need to drink them. Oh, that's a lot. Cheers. Oh, that's good. It's good. It taste. Why does it taste just like? This one, I think it's because I'm tasting this. I'm confused, I don't know, don't listen to me, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm so tired. Phoebe, you're paranoid, just like your mama. I'm gonna meal prep for a little bit, I am. Um, I eat the exact same meals every day and they all involve like cutting a lot of vegetables. So I've started to meal prep for myself. I just like pre-cut all my vegetables and put them in the fridge so I can make my little spring rolls and my salads like super quickly. So yesterday I cut up all of my veggies, my lettuce and this sausage, but I need to, I need to prep this sweet potato and this quinoa as well. I didn't have enough Tupperware containers to, um, prepped them yesterday while I was doing all of that because they were dirty and I will like actually puke if I hand wash dishes. I My thing is wet food. I can't do it, I can't touch it. So I have to wait until today. So I'm gonna do this now and sip on my quacky.
Guys, look at my new swaggy sweatsuit. Colin said this is my color. Espresso bean. Well, hold on, hold on now. It's... I think that that pink bathing suit is your primary color. I think espresso is your secondary color. It's okay. fantastic, but nothing hits quite like that pink bathing suit. Uh-huh. No, I agree. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm nervous because I ordered the... I've been trying to steer away from the Skims sweatsuit. I don't really know why, but I ordered it yesterday in the cherry blossom color. But I got... I accidentally got the joggers instead of the straight leg sweatpants. And I like straight leg sweatpants. So I'm like... I almost just ordered them right after, but I'm really bad at returning things. So I don't want to spend a double. So I'm just going to see when it comes in the mail, but... Can you hear me? This is what I do when I throw myself on mute on Colin's phone. I'm like, <laughs> I say really fucked up things because he'll respond to those if he can hear me. I'm being really drama. And I'm, I just took selfies of myself in my dark bathroom with flash and my new digital camera. I love having a digital camera. I should have just gotten like a normal digital camera, but I got the G7X because... It can be used for vlogging if I'm at a concert. I hate vlogging on these though. I love vlogging on this, um, but this thing is a clunker. I really wish I liked vlogging on this because it's so tiny and portable and I can just throw it in my pocket. I use the biggest camera to vlog and it's honestly so embarrassing. What did I come on here to say? Oh yeah, I was like taking weird selfies in the bathroom and I was just like, I love how these pictures come out. I'm so happy I got this because like before, the only pictures I would ever like of myself were like random, pictures that a photographer would take of me at a party that I would get like once every six months. I used to love that about going to parties in LA, like there's always photographers walking around. I'd be like, hey sir, and get all my pictures for the year. But now I have my own camera and it's so fun. I'd be a fool if I didn't rent the Airbnb again so we can lay on that couch. I'd be a fool. You would be a fool. I think I know what I have to do. Me and Colin stayed at this like Airbnb in Illinois with the world's comfiest couch. Like I don't even know how to describe like what this couch made me feel. And this house was just so cozy and like it just rocked. It was a perfect Airbnb. But I'm always like, no, I wanna like try a new place. I can't stay in the same place twice. <laughs> but I think I have to. <laughs> you excited to stay at the same place? I'm very excited to stay at the same place. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Rocking this sweatsuit. What was your peak and pit today? I don't know what's happening to me right now. I have so much energy. This is what I'm talking about, you guys. I am exhausted every day from like 1.30 p.m. on until it hits like 8 at night. Then all of a sudden I'm like, hi! It's crazy. It definitely has something to do with the, the THC drink that I have is like sativa, so it kind of makes me nuts. And like, so I'm a little crazy right now. I need to settle down. I just like rambled to Colin for God knows how long. And now I'm gonna make some dinner and I'm gonna watch The Bachelor. I watched The Bachelor now, the new season that just came out. I finished Love is Blind, so I was like, maybe I'll watch The Bachelor. I haven't watched that in a while. We're doing our peak in our pit of the day. My peak was, my peak was just like meeting my whole team and like going to the factory this morning and spending time with all the girls and just like spending the whole day with them. That was so much fun. I felt really good today and talking to everyone was actually like fun for me and I had a really good time. They were all so cool and it was just like so awesome to be there and I'm so excited and that made me happy. Anyways, um, another peak is this sweatsuit. I'm feeling myself, that's another peak. And then my pit was, my pit was, I was at my, I was at my new house today as you guys saw and I was like, Ronnie, have I discussed my front gate with you yet? And he was like, no, I don't think so. So I bring him outside, I'm like, the front, okay guys, the front gate of my house that I bought is so fucking dreadful. I wish I could show you. It looks like you're walking into a prison and it like doesn't work. It's so rickety and nasty. I want it gone. I was like, Ronnie, I hate this thing. 
we need to find a new one. And as I was telling him my plans for my front gate, my dad pulls up and he gets out of the car. He's like, not in the budget. That'll be next year. I was like, no, but I need it now. Like this is really bad. He was like, nope, next year. That was funny, but that's my pick. Cause like, I can't believe I have to keep that gate. And this was supposed to be a couple days vlog. I just can't film those, you guys. It's just not in the cards for me. I love like a morning to night vlog and just show you everything. It's fun. I always try to do those and it never works out because I talk too much, but, but I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out. If you want to follow me on my other socials, my TikTok and my Instagram are both Tara's World. And then my Snapchat is, ew, is It's Tara's World. And my OnlyFans is It's Tara's World or Tara's Tits. And then my VIP OnlyFans is Tara's World VIP. Sorry, I'm just like plugging myself for a minute. Also, um, like and subscribe. I'm begging. No, I'm not begging. I'm begging, for sure. Good night, I'll be here with my baby. He's sucking right now.